Recently, my arch nemesis and self-proclaimed APRS guru, Jason KM4ACK, posted a video showing how you can spot yourself to the POTA website using APRS. You know the whole, if you don't have a cell phone signal, you can still send a message with APRS. Well, while he did show us what to do in that video, he failed to show us how to do it. So in this video of this two-part APRS series, I'm gonna show you how to send a message from APRS to the POTA website to spot yourself over APRS. Now it's important to note this video is going to be specifically for the Yaesu FT5D. Lots of different radios have lots of different menu configurations into how to navigate APRS. We're gonna focus on the FT5D. So first thing you need to know, the APRS frequency is 144.390 and it's FM. So the first thing we wanna do is long press the F menu button, and that's gonna bring us to this menu. And here we can see we have APRS. So we wanna go ahead and touch that. Menu number four is the APRS modem. We need to turn that on, and we're gonna simply gonna short press the F menu button, and we can use this outer dial here to change between off 1200 BPS and 9600 BPS. We want 1200 BPS, so set it to that, and then we're gonna simply hit back. Next, we're gonna go down to menu 20, which is our GPS power. We're gonna hit the menu button, and again, we wanna make sure GPS is on. If it's off, use the outer rotary dial to turn that on and hit back. Then we're gonna go down to menu 23, which is our call sign, and you should have set this up when you first powered on your radio for the first time, but if not, make sure your call sign is in there, and because we're using an HT, we're gonna put a dash seven. So you can put your call sign, mine's a five digit call sign. If you, you do need six characters in here, so you might need to put a space after your call sign, and then uh, once you do that, another screen will pop up with the dash one, dash two, dash three, whatever, and you just hit the applicable uh, dash number that you want. I'm using dash seven. Then we're gonna hit back, and back again, and back again. Next, we're gonna short press the F menu button. That's gonna bring us to this menu. Now, you might be on the first page, so we're gonna need to hit this forward at the bottom right, and that's gonna bring us to the second page. On the top right-hand corner, we can see where it says M list. We're gonna touch that, and that's gonna bring us to all of the APRS messages that we may have received. And from here, we can either choose to use a message that was already sent or received, or we can scroll through here to find an empty message like menu 59 here. Now we're gonna hit these six squares and we're gonna touch message edit. Now once you do that, there may be a message in here. If that's the case, you, if you wanna reuse that message, you can, but hit the six squares and if we hit clear all, that will clear everything. Next we wanna hit this edit CS button that's the call sign, that's who we're gonna send this message to. And in this case, we wanna send it to A, P, spot. Once we have that in, we can hit the back button and that will save it. Now we're gonna hit edit text, and this is where we're gonna type in the message. And we wanna type exclamation point, space, POTA, space, US, if you're in the United States, we're gonna type our park number next. So for me, it's gonna be US, and then we need to go to the numbers to get the dash, and I'm gonna use 3019 in my case, space, the frequency we're gonna use, so let's pick on 7.200, maybe, space. Then we need to put in our mode. We can either use SSB, CW, AM, FM, or data. If you don't put in the mode, and you actually send a message, you'll get an error code letting you know that it didn't uh, transmit right if you can actually get into the repeater. So I'm gonna put S, S, B, 
And that's all you need to do. I am gonna add one more thing though. Because I'm just testing. I'm gonna add a PRS test to that message. Then we can hit the back button. And from there we can see exclamation point POTA US 3019 7.200 SSB APRS test. From there all we have to do is hit that M transmit button and we just sent our packet. Congratulations, you just set your radio up to send a message from APRS to the POTA spotting page. If you have a successful message, you will see a screen pop up like this indicating that it has confirmed and you are spotted. If there is an error and you're getting into the Digipeter, it will also let you know by sending you this message that there is some kind of an error and you need to redo what you did, find your error, and resend it. In part two, we're gonna see if we can put this to practical use by going to the park and seeing, can we actually spot ourselves over APRS at the park? My name's Mike, thanks for watching Ham Radio Tube.